Hey, good morning, everyone. Um, I'm going to use some visual aids. Uh, you know, I hope that's fine. So, November 2022, this chart kind of popped up. Uh, that you know, everybody here, I'm sure, has heard of Chat GPT, right? But the interesting thing was a product like Chat GPT reached a million people in less than five days, and about a hundred million people in two months. Just imagine the scale of something growing so fast and so rapidly. And why that has become the tipping point of where we are with AI and why, you know, that's redefining the status quo in some way. Uh, so, you know, I want to take you guys on a bit of a pop quiz, you know, it's been an hour. So, you know, you guys are used to a pop quiz after that. Um, and, you know, you can speak out or do a show of hands. So I'm showing you two images here. One is a real one. One is generated by AI, you know, very simple pasta on plate. How many people think, you know, uh, image A, how many, how many of you think that's generated by AI? All right, what about B? All right, so split house, it is B. Another quick one. This one fooled me quite a lot. This is a painting. Again, one is generated by AI, the other is not. Quick show of hands for A. All right, what about B? All right, so looks like, you know, the majority got it uh, right. Uh, this is an even tricky one and with the lighting might become really difficult. Uh, so I'll, I'll save you guys the pop quiz here. This one's actually on A. <laughs> uh, but this is, this is how the technology has now evolved with things like ChatGPT. So one of this is written by AI, the other is written by a human. Uh, again, last quick show of hands on uh, how many think A is written by AI? Alright, how many think B is written by AI? Yeah, this one I think AI wins that most people thought, uh, you know, uh, what is there in A is actually written by a human. And that's how beautiful this piece of technology has got. I'll quickly get into why. Uh, last question, right? Now, two images. Uh, which of these you think is generated by AI? A, how many people think A? How many think B? Well, <laughs> this was, uh, you know, not really a question. They're both actually generated by AI. So none of these people are real. These are all pure AI prompts of you know somebody uh, with a great level of description on what they are wearing and what location they are in uh, generated out. Right? So that is why generative AI today is actually redefining the status quo. I will take you to a small history lesson on how actually technology has evolved in the last 30 years and why do we think right now we are at a very critical juncture and a tipping point on how AI is changing things, right? So we all, <laughs> you know, sort of look at technology trends in three different ways. Uh, you know, any technology, when it becomes a tipping point, it has to do certain things well. A, it has to be really democratizing, right? Everybody should have access. Everybody should be able to use it. It should be transformative in a way where, <coughs> you know, whatever you are doing today can be done drastic in a very, you know, drastically different manner. And it should open up new applications. So, you know, the first of these was, you know, the PC, right? At one point in time, access to computers was, you know, not known, not possible. And then PCs came about everybody had a PC at home, right? And what that did was really brought about the thing around, hey, you could actually type out content, which used to be you know, the job of a typist. Uh, everybody could go, you know, actually type out a letter. Very simple things, but really transform the way work happened. The next one was, of course, the big thing, the internet, right? Um, sending out mails, chat, all of these things were fairly transformative in the way at that day and time that you could actually, you know, get things done. I happen to be, you know, uh, the proud owner of a dial-up connection at one point in time. The feeling of, you know, that modem going on was actually transformative in a lot of ways. Um, the biggest one after that actually came out with mobile. Now, mobile was something which was in the works for a long, long time. But everybody knows the launch of the iPhone was sort of the tipping point on how do you see mobile. And we've not looked back thereafter, right? Computing on everybody's hand, it's truly democratized the person who is, you know, driving the bus to the guy who's running your cab to the hotel that you're checking in. It has transformed things in ways I don't think anybody could have imagined back in 2007. Very quickly linked to that came the cloud, right? So as soon as 
people internet they all started getting together cloud became a thing which was <coughs> which has truly democratized a how information flows and b how we look at information how do we process information um, and if you look at these these are all been you know building blocks to where we are right the fact that everybody understands computing everybody has got computing power we've got information in the cloud why ai right now has now become the tipping point and i'll quickly get into uh, you know how is it actually going out and changing things so <laughs> this is a very uh, you know uh, profound statement we keep making at work all the time that generative ai is a tectonic shift and the word generative here is first of all the most critical word so uh, ai actually started off back in you know 2012 2013 with things what we call as neural networks uh that you could you know take a computer tell it hey here are 10 pictures of a cat and then you give it a new picture and it'll say yes is it a cat or is it not a cat right it was ai you know the basics of ai right but that is basically computer recognizing things and more like computer vision the word generative here is important because computers are now generating net new content my favorite thing to do these days is whenever there's somebody's birthday i just send them out a poem now that's a personalized poem written by chat gpt just for you right so you just tell them hey my name this is the person this is what they do you know this is their milestone and you get a personalized poem out of that damn thing right that is net new content generation which does not involve any human in terms of how the thing is structured how the thing is written out so that generative piece is very critical because what it does is it takes you know things in a whole different manner now you're not searching for information you're creating it now you are having a conversation rather than is it yes or no and and that truly changed what kind of things you can do right the second most important thing is why do we think it's a tectonic change right it's a tectonic change for a couple of reasons right one this whole thing is open source it's actually democratized to the best possible level that a team of two people can go build up an application tomorrow if they think of a right use case it's changing things by 10x right something that took hours and days and you know one interesting example we are going through if you have to like go right let's say a five page document on you know hey how is the education policy in india affecting things somebody will have to go read the whole thing assimilate understand it and then go right out or you can go tell chat gpt here is the policy document summarize this for me give me the highlights and thereafter start building out your own point of view right so the time taken on things has dramatically reduced 10x at times that doesn't even justify it and the third most important thing is it's not just for text it's not just for images it's for everything from video to code to audio and that's just the start in the last year I won't say nine months. The work on this has been on for like five years, but you know, today you can go get a piece of code written with a prompt. You can get a video done with a prompt. You can get a uh, you know 501 essay done with a prompt. Uh, so, <coughs> and very soon these have started to become multi-modal, where what you're generating is a mix of these things, uh, which is why it's also a big tectonic shift. And how does this now become different applications? So. there are three areas where we think there's going to be a really dramatic change over the next you know 2 to 21 months with generative ai the first and foremost and you're seeing that in action is search right we've relied all relied on google search forever um, but google search 20 years old now right so uh, it was about time something changed there so Uh, you know things like search agents things like personalized knowledge agents and very focused on an area right so a personalized knowledge agent just understanding medical content just understanding legal content those are things which will quickly start showing up content creation is massively getting accelerated um and what is that going to do is give you the next set of productivity apps we're doing things like you know uh, i'm i'm going creating a document i'm going to you know put a storyline in place it's going to be much 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 faster uh, but the reality is you know there is always a but there's all hey this seems too good to be true is it really that true um and not right so this is technology which is you know self learning which is learning currently from the internet and you can imagine this as being somebody who's read the entire internet right everything on internet is not true 
and this thing has the ability to hallucinate this thing has the ability to you know give out wrong answers confidently even though the first example here if folks can see is it says it agrees to that my wife is always right which is probably the right thing to do uh, so that's uh, you know those are definitely concerns um, there is always concern on hey what data is it learning from uh, and most importantly things like deep fakes things like false information have a scope of you know getting more aggravated with this technology so you know i'll just leave you with this final thought on what do we do right so <laughs> what's more important here is with any technology there is a scope of being responsible right so what is responsible ai we primarily base it on three things it's people it's product and it's process right and people is the most important thing people still need to be in control people still need to be driving this thing we need to go establish a lot more cleaner models on attribution hey, was this generated out of ai was this not generated was this partially generated but i think the most important one is spreading knowledge and awareness around it you know fake news is still a problem this problem will get aggravated at the end of the day we need to look at everything and say hey uh, is it the right thing what is the source for it and make sure that's you know known across our community as well that's it thank you